What's up, guys? We're here with uh, Josh's Evo. Yeah, we're putting his new bumper crash beam, crash beam on. I am screwing in my tow hook <laughs> to my crash beam. New crash beam for the Evo X. Because mine did not come with one. And for all you USBM guys, this has a tow hook point. For, I don't remember the tow hook size, but driven fabrication. If you had an Evo 8, 9, or 10, look them up. They got a lot of cool aftermarket parts. So now I get towed from the front, going to the track, all that good stuff. But it doesn't include hardware, so if you want hardware, factor that into your budget. So we got the front, front end tore off right now. I'm gonna run to the hardware. He's welding something over there. It's bright. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the plan. Stay tuned. I'm gonna leave this. I'm just gonna leave this. Driven fabrication, I think is who's by. So, I mean, so far, fit and finish, pretty cool. See, that one's going on. It's got a spot for a tow hook, which the original one did not have. The USDM ones do not. So this I, car didn't even have the original crash beam. Yeah, it doesn't. This crash beam is 10 pounds lighter than stock one. Has a tow hook point. Has your intercooler mounting points, bumper mount points, something like that. How much did you pay for it, Josh? Oh, it was, I think, three seventy-five. So it's it's a chunk, but if you want to be able to tow off the front or have a track day, that kind of stuff, you know. We'll throw a link in the description if anyone is interested in this crash beam. Yeah, oh, even it comes with a sticker too. So hey, so Got an today too. Went up. Oh, grill glue on. That's a lot of surface to grill glue. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. We should have just grilled glue the metal on there and tell it over. I mean, it's super... Yeah, well, we got the weld. Let's just start globbing it on there. It's all hid behind the bumper. Don't go. Yeah. I, think, I seriously think we got the wrong size. So the crash beam, the bolt size, we thought we had it figured out what size bolt it was to bolt into the frame there. But we didn't have it right. Or did we? I don't know. It might have just been corroded. We were having issues with it. We were, they were supposedly grade 8 bolts, but while screwing them in, it uh, snapped off one of them. So clearly they weren't grade 8. So it's a joke. So we're just going to weld her right on there. Do it up. So we got it welded on. I had Josh's buddy do it. Woo! And we did something else to the back of the Evo today. Removed the uh, stock badges. It said Lancer Evolution here. Mr. Bishi over here. We removed those and put Evolution X. Okay, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Um, I'm recording this on my MacBook right now, so hopefully it turns out good. Anyways, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video. We didn't really plan it out. We just kind of threw it together. Um, so overall, the review on the Driven Fab... Uh, bumper support crash beam I like it a lot it looks good I mean it sucks it's gonna be hidden by the bumper cover but it looks really good and it's got a tow hook spot on it so you can mount a tow hook to the, your Evo X which the USDM version did not come with that ability stock uh, I believe the JDM one did um, but anyways we liked it a lot unfortunately Josh's Evo did not come with the crash beam, so we had no hardware. The Driven Fab didn't give us any hardware, and we went to put it on, and we ended up breaking a bolt. So we ended up just going and welding it on, which you saw already. But um, if you'd if you'd like that um, crash beam bar, we're gonna put the link in the description for you, so you can uh, buy it if you have an Evo X. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, subscribe. Tell us what we're doing good. Tell us what we're doing bad. We really like your guys' feedback and whatnot. So thank you and see you guys next time.